Greetings. Hello. Hello and welcome to the stream. I will be with you in just a second, just making sure that everything's all ready to go. Um, okay, and we're all good. So, hello. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for coming along to the stream tonight and uh, spending a couple of hours with some hopefully, hopefully chill music making. Um, yeah, and if you're watching on Catch Up, thank you so much for, for taking the time to to watch the stream later on. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so we're, we're back. We're back making Upriver, Downriver this week. Um, we're, we're kind of now at the stage where we've made the sort of really big um, tracks. You know, sort of like the combat music and the... I'm just going to pull that up. Um, we've made like the combat music and we've made the... Um, the the kind of end themes so we've kind of got all the big all the big kind of uh broad strokes of the soundtrack um and now we kind of get to do some of the slightly more like kind of specific kind of niche stuff uh so what we're going to be working on for the next few weeks is kind of town themes location based themes sorry my setup today is just it's just the worst um so we're going to be working on sort of town themes. We're going to be working on uh, specific locations and specific uh, um, kind of factions and, and races and all that sort of stuff. Uh, that's all. That's all now. What we're working on um, from there. Uh, if you are wanting to see uh, the the videos that we've you know the streams that we've done so far on Up River Down River, they're all available on YouTube. Uh, if you just go to YouTube and type in tin can audio uh, it should come up and there's a there's a playlist with all the all the streams on them I think there's about seven of them right now so I think that that, that works out about 14 hours worth of <laughs> worth of music um, so if, if you're into that kind of thing you can absolutely uh, you can absolutely tune in for that so today we're gonna to be working on a, a track called Meadowbrook it's for um, it's kind of the very first place in the game. It's where it's where all the adventures start, and it's kind of in the middle of where the river is. So, um, you know, when you start an upriver, downriver, you start, you know, in Meadowbrook, and then you can choose to either go uh, upriver towards the source or downriver towards the sea. I've, I'm still not sure if I've got the right way around in terms of the directions, um, but either way, um, you. Uh, you start in this place called Meadowbrook. So it's kind of the starting town, almost like the tutorial level, I guess, as well. Um, you know, you get your party together, you introduce them, you introduce your ship, and you... Um, and yeah, and then you buy supplies and you get ready to go. So that's... So it's a very uh, chilled, chilled kind of place. It's a very... You know, the adventure hasn't really started yet. It's very uh, idyllic. It's kind of... the What I was told... In the, in the brief was to kind of think of the Shire a little bit as well. So that's kind of what we're going for, which is very, very exciting. Uh, it's mostly going to be guitar based, which is why my guitar is all set up um, behind me. And uh, that's kind of going to be our main focus today is um, doing this uh, guitar piece. Sorry, I'm just checking something. Excellent. So yeah, so let's head over to the screen. So this the most terrifying thing in the world is uh, is uh, an empty project file. I was looking over the, the I was using the project file from the last the thing we were streaming uh, on Wednesday, um, which was the um, a lovely little bit of chip tune um, chip tune track. So that that stream should still be available if you want to come and see how how this was made. Um, but yeah, I do have an idea going into tonight, which I think has definitely helped over the past few weeks, is kind of going right well. Let's go in with a vague idea of what I want to start with um, and uh, before before diving in. Just, so it means, because when I, when I go into these streams without anything in mind, the, the first sort of hour or so is me floundering trying to find an idea. Um, and uh, and that doesn't necessarily always work, and it doesn't always lead to, to good music that I want to use later on. Um, so yeah, so it's not entirely from scratch. Like I have worked something out to start with. Um, let's start with getting this guitar track sorted. So I'm going to be using 
Now we're going to be using a shotgun microphone tonight. I know in previous weeks when I've done guitar parts, I have used, um, I've used a condenser microphone. I'm using a shotgun tonight because it's slightly more uh, intricate guitar playing rather than just big strums. We'll still have some big strums, but it'll be it'll sound slightly different because it's coming through the shotgun microphone. So um, we've got uh, we're going to have to do some playing around with microphones and things just to get everything set up but we're more or less ready to go um and getting and getting started so let's turn this microphone on so that should be that one there yep good stuff and i will Let's get these volumes sorted out. Good, I think. Let's go. Let's, let's get this. Let's get started. Let's get recording. So, save. Make sure the clip track is on because I'm a professional musician. Well, first of all, let's make that a bit faster and a bit louder. And I'll try and play it a bit cleaner. <laughs> okay. Ah, much better. Much, much better. Thank you. 
<laughs> not the best guitar playing in the world, but it'll be... Oops. Okay, good stuff. All right, let's fix all this. <laughs> And then we'll do our normal 12 string trick, which is where we bump this second track up by an octave. Which just adds a little bit more depth, just fills out the frequencies a little bit more. Yeah, our E flat is a bit of a problem. Need to run that through some compression and some mixing and get it all sounding nice. Sexual reverb on the go. some bass notes, I'm thinking like just adding some nice little, um, some really quiet kind of either acoustic bass or like a cello underneath. I think it could be quite a quiet track. Yeah, I need to go through all this and fix it. covers the cut a little bit. I also need to work out what specifically these chords are, but that, that's for later. That's for later. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna take that. Fate doesn't really work there. have a um we can do a loop um because i think what i quite like about this because it's sort of the start of the game uh and it's the start of the um the kind of start of your journey it can be a lot more laid back i'm kind of wanting this to be a very quiet track um and kind of keep it quite acoustic so nothing too synthy nothing too clever so probably won't use these tonight um but nothing too um nothing too dramatic just because it's kind of meant to be kind of bringing you into the game a little bit, you know, and bringing you into the world um, just a tad. Um, we need to work out why we want to have the loop. Why do we want to have the repeat? this back in. Oops. Oh. I think maybe like a, a cello for the bass part. Like, it'd be good to have, like, a banjo in here as well, but the problem is is that I haven't tuned the banjo. <laughs> um, just because I, did, I didn't think I'd need it. Um, there's other things we can do, though. There's other things we can do to kind of keep it interesting. And there's a couple of other guitar parts we can play around with as well. Um... I feel like an accordion. I feel like an accordion would kind of work. Ooh, okay, well, let's... Um, let's get this out of the go. Oh, excuse me. Uh, so we're going to use the best accordion sample I know, which is, of course, from the Professor Layton games. <laughs> um, just need to remember which instrument it is. That might be us, actually. Um... So what about chords we got? Yep. Uh, right, what shape is that? That's Oops. Chords are there. The chords are there. Um, I can 
fade up, I guess, maybe. at all. It just kind of needs to come straight in. back to the accordion and then let's just get some bass notes down first before we do anything else um, so let's get a cello on the go nice chilled out um, kind of cello sound Uh, reface. Uh. Okay, then get the bass notes down, and then uh, then we can start playing around with chords and counter melodies and and things like that. That's all right. Are you starting straight away? Do we reckon? Let's uh, let's pull everything in. Pull everything over first. Most of that, I mean, let's, let's just make sure we, uh, no, not triplets. Part? I think I might accidentally have made a viola part. Let's see what it sounds like with a viola. 
don't think Avila can go that low. I guess we'll find out. Uh, here we go. Yeah, I think this is a viola part. I've accidentally made a viola part when I was trying to make a cello part. I think it probably needs some chords underneath, you know? Just to give it a bit more uh, um, oomph, for want of a better phrase. Right, let's get the rest of this done. And then it just repeats. Um, cool. Just need to fix the bits I got wrong. Got my timings mixed up there, but that's fine. I guess an easy fix. Good morning, Mysterious. Thank you for coming. Glad you could make it. Uh, we're just fixing cello parts. Just trying to compensate for my not particularly good uh, keyboard playing today. Um, Is that? Yeah, let's see if we can fix, if we can't fix that bit there. Yeah, okay. Get this fixed. There you go. Uh, can I get this? Is that going to work? was me completely forgetting the viola's range doesn't go that low. <laughs> that's fine! That's fine, that's fine. Uh, actually, let's... Let's throw that over there. I missed this out on a photo shoot yesterday. We didn't get home till 10 p.m., so very sleepy. This is good vibes, though. Good. I'm glad that there are good vibes. Uh, that that does. Oh, like sh late shoots are never fun. Um, no matter how much you prepare for them, I feel like you're always just ruined by them.
<laughs> that was cut this in. Oh, not that one. <laughs> Alright, where are we? Here. I'm quite bad for slidey guitar sounds, but especially since I'm using the shotgun microphone, it picks up everything. So, but it's still a squeaky there, but I think that's something that will probably be fixed by um, compressing it and cleaning it up. And Get rid of that sound of keys in the background there. <laughs> okay, let's get this fixed. It's just that everything's slightly, it changes ever so slightly as things kind of go on. Like it, it, it repeats, but it doesn't repeat at the same time. Hang on, what have I done? I think I may have cut out a bar somewhere. Yeah, I like guess changing a third of the way through the bar, which is weird. Oh, that's fine, keeps things interesting. the time being. It's just... make sure to turn off ripple editing. Okay.
Like, I don't know if there's any sound design we can add to this, because it's, if it's meant to be in a town. I don't know if there's anything that would really work. Especially given that it's meant to be this sort of river town. It's very strange. Um, hopefully I'll think of something. Okay, let's get a cello. Probably, I will probably end up adding another guitar part in just to kind of give it a bit more um, forward movement because I feel like it's missing that right now. They could maybe do pizzicato strings. That could be interesting. Get the let's get this cello part recorded uh, just while we're while we're here. Actually, let's see if we can make this start a little bit cleaner because it sounds a bit weird at the moment. I like the way the string parts are playing off each other, there's something nice about that.
hundred feet. Okay, cool. We got a we got a shell part. That's that's good, and it sounds pretty good. Got a couple of I actually have a thing, a new thing I want to show you, and a new thing I downloaded the other day, um, as like a cool little, as an extra um, thing to have. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, it starts there. <laughs> Okay, uh, control all, copy, boost that up an octave, go back to the beginning, and paste, instant octave. Um, instant octave. Of course, it's never that simple, is it? Let's get, um, where is it gone? Uh, communion, uh, combat theme had really good guitars on it. Let's see if we can maybe borrow some, uh, guitar, <laughs> guitar sounds from, uh, from a previous one. Because whenever I do guitar, I always forget which, which plugin I use. So it's, uh. So, uh, just gotta get trying to remember what what I used. Uh, the ship's only channel mono. Okay, cool. Hopefully that'll fix it. Om Omni channel. There we go. Okay. Cool. See if that helps. <laughs> Oh, this is. I'm sorry that this stream is mostly just fixing guitar parts. But. It's, uh... parts fixed. It's, 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 I'm not complaining, it's a nice guitar part. Thank you. That is very, very kind of you. Um, <laughs> just, uh, I'm a very messy guitar player. I'm, I'm very aware of this. Random sniff on the hog, you know.
There's a thing I need to fix in the guitar, but again, there's more things to fix in the guitar. Excellent. Happy, 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 happy. Cool. So I've downloaded a new, I downloaded a new thing recently. Uh, it's another free instrument, free labs instrument from Spitfire Audio. Uh, it's called Cello Moods. Um, and what they did is they, they, uh, they basically took a professional cello player and got to record in some very particular different, very particular different moods. Um, and then they turned it into a sampler. So I don't. I think on its own, it's not the best cello plugin in the world. But as something to back up another cello part, it's quite nice. Oops. I need to, I need to obviously line it up so it fits. You know, it just adds a nice air of just adds an extra extra bit of texture. happening there Professor Layton um, accordion part there.
Oh, it's a right. <laughs> Try putting in a pizzicato string part. See what we can come up with. Just as a little vamp. You know, just as a nice little um, ensemble string solo pizzicato. That's kind of that's what we're after. See what that sounds like. <laughs> Probably not that, but we'll see what that sounds like on its own. Oops. Subtle, the the the, the pizzicato strings are like add a nice kind of subtle, subtle touch to it. But I'm gonna just turn them up a bit higher. So basically, if you can't hear them, basically they're going. Which sounds a bit humpty dumpty, humpty dumpty. But like when you add it to all the other parts as well, I think it adds a nice kind of rhythm. I think. Off stream, I'll probably go back and re-record these guitar parts because they're they're very messy, um, and I think if I just record them off stream, it just means I can uh, really kind of get rid of any bits that aren't working because there's just there's a lot of noise in some of the background and and things. And it's it's not not good high not the good high quality guitar playing you expect to hear from my streams. <laughs> Get this it's cow strings. Once more, but like with the actual part I was wanting to wanting to play. Just.
cool, cool. Right. Okay, no, that, that needs to be in triplets, I think. <laughs> uh, 16th triplets. There's something really weird that the strings are doing. Okay, something is... Whoa! What was that? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not paying you to do that. <laughs> okay, let's, let's pop a split in there. Just. instrument so technically I'm not paying paying them at all but uh, but still that's, that's, that's so weird <laughs> I guess even software can rebel against their capitalist masters apparently so haunted cello plugin Had an idea.
Yeah, I think just a piano thing, just highlighting those 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 extra those extra tones. The cello is rebelling again. Hold on. There it is again. <laughs> there we go. You are not allowed any artistic expression when you are when you're in the studio. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> the Hi, Squeedy Todd. Wonderful to see you. Yes, absolutely the culprit. Definitely not my messy guitar playing. No, 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 no. the accordion's working either. I think I might just get rid of that. You know what, let's try and re-record this guitar part. Why not? Let's let's see if let's try and get that get that recorded and kind of keep it cleaner than it was before. Um just because I think I don't like how messy it is right now. I think I kind of 
want to try and do it again, but with just cleaner, you know? Let's have a go. And that's all on, so I'll mute. Feeling brave, it was perhaps the wrong thing to do. Um, right. Let's try again, but we'll try and do it in bits. And that should help. And also turn off ripple editing, because that could lead to some dangerous things happening. <laughs> something to work with and also means we've got like a nice right out of the game Thank you. 
Ah, uh, yeah, there you are. Yes, you've been caught. Oh. I did it. Oi, oi, oi. Right, well, we'll keep 
we'll keep those for there and I can come back to that after the stream and get that fixed then. So I'm just looking at ambiences. Um, how about this? a whole lot of sound design. Got animals in here. Harbour Town as well, so I don't know if there's maybe anything I have. Um, let's have a look. Uh, I think I have it in. Yeah, there we go. Kind of quite quiet in the background.
Turn the crowd sound down just a little bit.
do I know the band Elbow? Yes, I do know the band Elbow. Uh, I... How old was I when their album came out? I think the Sunken Sid... The, the Seldom Seen Kid came out... When I was about 16? 14, 15, 16 years old? Ooh, that was a long time ago. But yes, uh, I haven't really listened to them much outside of that album. But yeah, really, really good orchestral stuff. And really, really good, interesting songwriting. Cat is doing something weird. Hello. She's she's in an exploratory mood, it seems. Hello. No, she's chilling out on the sofa. <laughs> she's here. She's here. She's joined us. So, um, I think, uh, I need, first of all, I need to re-record the guitar parts, the, the rest of the guitar part. Um, and then I think it's just mixing more than anything else. I think it's a little, it's a little shorter than I'd like. I'm not a hundred percent sure it's working. Um, that being said, I think I will, I think I'll probably come back to it and, um, I'll either come back to it and uh, fix it for the next stream, or I will, um, uh, or I'll, you know, scrap it, start again, start again with a fresh idea. Um, just because I'm not 100 percent sure this is kind of working. Um, I think it's. She's gone. I think it still sounds nice. I think it still sounds good. I just, it's just I'm just not sure it's quite conveying what I want it to do. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to call it there. I'm starting to get a bit of a headache. I think I've, I'm starting to get a, a bit of a migraine. Um, so I'm going to call call the uh, call the stream here just so I can drink some water and lie down in the dark. Um, but thank you so much for coming. Um, if you want more info about uh, Upriver Downriver, I'll, I'll pop a link in the chat for you. Um, we're here every Monday and Wednesday. Uh, usually it's a bit more together than this. <laughs> 
Um, we are here every Monday and Wednesday uh, making music. And um, Wednesday, I might be back at this. Uh, yeah, Poppy absolutely arrived for nap time. <laughs> And then she left again. Presumably she came in to tell me that I needed to take a break. Um, but yeah, so Wednesday I'll either be... I'll either have fixed this and I'll be able to show you what the fixed track sounds like. Um, or it'll be a case of, right, we're starting the whole track again. Different idea, new approach, new angle. Um, and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. Sometimes this happens when you're making music. Sometimes uh, you have an idea and it doesn't work. And it's very frustrating when it does, especially when you're making music in front of people. Um, but at the same time, this is part of the process. Not everything can work first time round. Um, so yeah, so we'll be back Wednesday at 8 p.m. Um, UK time, 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, I'm going to be probably working on more upriver, downriver stuff, but I might decide to, to do something else. Might decide to do more uh, lo-fi chiptune stuff um, instead. Uh, and yeah, so I'm um, yeah. Sorry, I will call it. There. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll see you on Wednesday. Hopefully, I will have recovered from whatever the migraine that I'm, I seem to be getting. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be back on Wednesday with more, more chilled out music making. Thank you so much for coming and enjoy the rest of your week. Take care. <laughs>